she's all settled now. We're gonna take her to see Elizabeth. And we've got a mojito, which might even smell. So these are the naturals. They Maggie's come to see the horse guards. Just getting some photos. Good girl, Maggie. to a weekend vlog. It's bank holiday weekend here in the UK. Um, I think, I'm not sure if it's a global thing. I've always asked this. I think, well, basically we just get an extra day off. So we get a longer weekend. And I have this bundle of joy with me this morning. She's very excited. We're gonna go have a day in Richmond, which is very exciting. Richmond is, oh, you're very excited. Let's get one of your toys. Come on. Sorry guys, do bear with me. I'm still getting used to the whole <laughs> parenthood. <laughs> Um, Richmond is Richmond upon Thames. It's in like the Kingston area. It's beautiful. We love it. We went often enough without the dog, and we've always said how lovely it would be to um, bring a little dog along. So yeah, it's got lovely deer. It's not too far from where we live. It's about half an hour in the car. So um, yeah, we're going to take Maggie for a little walk around Richmond, have a pub lunch, and then I'm just going to pick my camera up as and when throughout the weekend. She's doing really well. She's settling in. She's been in London nearly a week now, which is very exciting. We're also going to take her to Pets at Home because she needs to get her worming and flea and then they do like a good monthly plan, I think. Um, so yeah, we're going to take her there. Also, just to note, this vlog is very kindly sponsored by Penfold. I'm going to be getting more into that when we're back from Richmond, but I'm very excited to be working with Penfold because it's a great way for me to plan my future and also Zara. Now that we have Oh, this bundle of joy. Penfold are an amazing company. Changing the way we think about pensions. So we're thinking about the future, Mags, now that you're here. Our families became three. <laughs> She's very excited. Zara's just fitting her harness in the car seat. And we're gonna go and drive, right? Let's go. So we've popped the car seat cover that we got in, um, I think this is actually from Home Bargains. And she's all strapped in with her car seat belt. And she's got a little doorknot. So she's good to go. We might shorten it slightly just so she doesn't squirm around as much, but she's doing well. She's all settled now. She's so well behaved, it's incredible. Good girl, Maggie. Richmond and we're having some lunch in a place called the Old Ship and we've got some nice veggie and vegan options and also the dog friendly which is a lot of places in London and Richmond's lovely so we're gonna have a walk around the town. She's just sitting here, don't worry she's not gonna be up on Zara's lap when we're eating, we're trying to keep her on the floor. So um, yeah, we're gonna order some food, I think I'm gonna go for a burger. Zara's gonna do some um, feta parcels and some chips. Lunch has arrived. How good does this look? Oh my god. Zara's looks amazing too. Let's dig in. Feeding time for Maggie now. <laughs> We've had our lunch, so she's having hers. We've got this bowl as well because it helps with how fast she eats. Labradors have a tendency to be a little bit greedy, so it makes her take her time. And then this is a collapsible water bowl we got in. Um, I think that was a home bargains find as well. Yeah, good girl, Maggie. She's just been taking in the lovely busker over here. I've just got a little after lunch coffee. Oh. So she's currently in Tiger. Show and everyone the toy you've got. Oh Max. yes, Maggie, look. We've just got her a toy that she loves. It's a squeaky one. There we go. <laughs> she's loving it. We've just got, oh, there we go. There we go. They've got some lovely doggy bits. Yeah, we've just got some other bits and bobs as well. I'm just going to go to the checkout. There we go, Maggie. Let's let's go My home. My modelling career is just taking off as well. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah sees us every time and she always wants it. Good girl, Maggie. So we need to give that to the cashier uh, 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 to check out. Ah, uh, uh, no, because that's stealing. And we've got to prison. So this is a monumental moment. This is Maggie's first collar. We're back from Pets at Home. There we are. Maggie, sit, please, darling. Mummy's going to put a collar on you. 
Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, beautiful. Oh my goodness. She Not faced. Oh my goodness. Maggie, it's on your collar. Show everyone your collar. Do you know, there was a lovely one. But it did have jewels and things. Oh, it on. had jewels and daisies this one's and just, bows. This was like three pounds. And yeah, it's just a little bit easier now. For people who identify if it's, she's a boy or a girl. <laughs> people keep asking what she is. Yeah. She literally has a pink harness, a pink lead. Not that that's associated with girls, but And you we know. call her baby girl. <laughs> there we are, Max. Congratulations. Ah. So we're back home from Richmond. And as I said at the start of this vlog, this segment is very kindly sponsored by Penfold. So Penfold actually aim to challenge the traditional idea of pensions. Obviously, they're not really that exciting. I genuinely didn't really know that much about them, but they're challenging that and changing it up and making pensions easy to manage. Now, obviously, I'm self-employed. I'm a freelance. I create videos and social content. So Penfold's perfect for someone like me. I've never had a pension, never really paid into a pension. So it's fab. So I downloaded the Penfold app and I've already put £20 in there. It's a great way to actually manage a pension. You can have four different types of pensions depending on your age. So obviously I'm 24, so I've put mine in actually a high risk pension because I'm not going to be retiring for many a year. I'd love to retire now, <laughs> um, but I'm not going to be retiring for quite some time. So it's going to be fab if you have maybe some existing pensions that you've paid into. You can actually collate them all together. Oh, and we've got a little intruder. <laughs> Hey Maggie! So Penfold was actually traditionally known as the self-employed pension app and scheme. However, it's also for people who are employed too, so it's fab. Zara currently has a pension, so it's gonna be great for her as well, so she's gonna get involved in this too. So I created my account on the Penfold app in around four minutes. It just needed some very simple deals like my address, my age, and if I was employed, self-employed, and then it was just whether I wanted to actually put a payment in straight away and set up a direct debit. It was really straightforward. Great if you haven't got a lot of time and it's something that you just really wanna just get involved in and have it kind of earning money in the background, which is fab. Obviously being freelance, my pay kind of fluctuates depending on month to month, but if you are on a payroll and you're getting standard salary, then you can do a direct debit or you can just top up your pension as and when you like. You can also refer friends as well and get a 25 pound contribution with every friend you refer. So if you know someone out there who maybe hasn't got a pension or hasn't thought about a pension yet definitely do that because you can refer people and you earn some money from it as well so if you've had quite a large employment history and you've paid into pensions along the way this is going to be fab for you because you can collate them all together have it on one easy to manage app and it's a really easy app to use you've literally got your dashboard on there you can look at your calculator your beneficiaries and your documents and you can choose who you want to invest with as well so you can choose sustainable companies investments if that's something that's really important to you so like I say, I'm thinking about the future. We've got little Maggie now. So obviously she's a huge part of our life and we're thinking about the future, thinking about the potential of, you know, property development and that kind of thing. And this is just a great way to secure some money for a rainy day for when the pension is needed. So yeah, it's fab. Penfold is brilliant. I'll leave them linked down below. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. And I'm really, really excited to be starting my savings journey. So I'm just making a start on dinner and we're making a vegan chili con carne. Well, a veggie chili con carne until we do the toppings. So I've just sweated down some onion, garlic, and chilli. And then we're actually going to use some of this Meatless Farm plant-based mint. Um, this is very kindly sent up for us to try, so I popped it in the freezer until we were ready to use it. So yeah, we're going to pop this in and make a chilli with it. We've got some chilli heat with Doritos, we're going to do some peppers, avocado, coriander, and lots of beans. So the chilli is just blipping away. The trick to a good chilli is to leave it to cook for as long as you possibly can. Um, I also added in some coffee, some brewed coffee. It really helps with the depth of flavor. We've got cayenne pepper, sriracha, a whole chili, and some chili powder, and some small paprika. Um, oh, actually, no small paprika, because we've run out, but um, yeah, it's blipping away nicely. And then we're gonna pop it on this, I mean, modest tray of nachos, and then top it with some guac, some grated mozzarella, some cheddar, and some coriander. Maggie's had her dinner. She's had her worm and tablet and her flea um, little prepare on the back of her neck, so she's wormed and fleed and ready to go. I must say your collar makes you look very dashing. So these are the nachos. They've just baked. We've topped them with the guacamole, some fresh coriander, some jalapenos and Zara's putting some, is this sour cream or is this? Onion and garlic. Oh, onion and garlic dip on the top as well. And then we're gonna dig in. folks so today is Sunday and we've come to Green Park uh, which is 
a lovely park in London. I'm gonna say probably up there with like my top three parks. I love it. There's nothing much exciting about it, but it's kind of like the park that I always find myself in. Lots of nice memories here. Got the girls behind, and we thought we'd take her to Buckingham Palace to really give her a proper London inauguration. We're gonna take her to see Elizabeth, Lilibet, um, and then we're just gonna have a walk around town with her. Obviously, we're not gonna walk too far, she's still really young, so we don't wanna, you know, disrupt her joints and all that kind of stuff. But she's so, yeah. small enough to be picked up in the meantime. Yeah. She's doing fantastically on the tubes and buses. She's doing wonderful. I feel like she was a London dog in a previous life. So yeah, gonna head to Buckingham Palace now. She's got a quick coffee because she was up at 2 a.m. and then 5 a.m. She had a little accident. We did take her out on both times and she did do wheeze in the back garden. And then she came back up and did a, a real big accident. <laughs> but she's still a puppy. A number two accident. A number two accident. But she's still young and is perfectly acceptable. So yeah, she's doing all right. Hello, Ramona. I can't Maggie has met Elizabeth somewhat. We're here at Buckingham Palace, it's quite busy. <laughs> Maggie, darling, she's loving it. She's getting all the attention from everyone as well. We're going to try and get a little picture um, with her, but we just took one of her balanced on the podium and she loved it. Balanced? I mean, well, she was sat here. <laughs> I'll pop it on the screen. But yeah, there we are. You've come to Buckingham Palace, you're officially a Londoner. Maggie's come to see the horse guards. They're just getting some photos. Good girl, Maggie. We're watching the changing of the guards through here as well. There we are. Look, Maggie, it's a big horsey. So it's just seen as Zara, it really feels like London's back to being London. Last year wasn't really, just wasn't really the same, was it? Look, she's in Zara's arms. And um, yeah, like obviously there's loads of tourists here. It's just fab, it genuinely feels like the city's come back alive and um, we're just carrying her for a little bit because I think she's getting a bit tired. And we're gonna go and walk down near the London Eye and um, South Bank and get some lunch. Oh, lovely. She's just having some lunch. Maggie, give it a minute. She's got some buskers going on behind. Good girl, Mags. Good girl, was trying to ration out her food just so she doesn't gulf it down. We've stopped off for some lunch. We're at a place called Giraffe. Yeah. Um, so we've ordered some nice, nice veggie bits and we've got a mojito, which might even smell. <laughs> And um, five pound mojitos, how good for that? And we're just on South Bank. It's lovely. I'll show you when the food arrives. So food has arrived, and this is what I've gone for. We've got a little, we've got an extra helper. Damn, Maggie, please. Good girl. Zara's gone for a huge hanging kebab. And um, this is the lovely vegan katsu curry. So we're gonna dig it. Good evening. So it's, oh, it's just gone seven o'clock on Sunday, and we were gonna make another roast dinner, but the weather kind of wasn't really wasn't really, it was warm. I just thought, you know what, let's let Zara is right, so let's pull that for roast dinners because we're gonna be eating them a lot. So we thought we'd do like a nice Italian inspired dinner. So we um, quickly nipped Tesco and got some tomatoes. So we're gonna do some bruschetta. Um, I'll show you what we've got going on over on the hob. So Zara's just cut up some sourdough. We tried to find shea batter, but they were all out. Um, so we're just gonna griddle it. This was the Le Creusier pan that um, I got. This is this cerise red Le Creusier pan. And then in here we have some ravioli, which is filled with butternut squash, provolone or cheese, and chili. So yeah, we're just gonna top um, the bread with tomatoes, some garlic oil, and some salt and pepper and balsamic. Oh, and then we got some Fabulous. pesto. This looks good. What is this? Just regular pesto? I don't know. Thin label. Oh yeah, that smells good. The simplest feeling beyond the ghost. We stand on the opposite shore. So this is dinner. These are the ravioli that we got. I mean, we've cheated a little bit, but we've added some parmesan, black pepper, and lemon. These are the garlic dough balls. I forgot to tell you about these as well. And then we've got the bruschetta and just topped it with a bit of olive oil and basil. Right, we're gonna dig in. Also got myself a um, Sipsmith blood orange gin and tonic. So we've just finished up dinner and we're about to watch a film called The Fear of Rain. It was recommended on Netflix. It's kind of like a thriller and we're having for dessert some um, golden syrup sponges. We haven't had these in the longest oh, oh, time. Hello. Maggie, get down, darling. Gosh, it's very true what they say about Labradors. They are quite greedy. Maggie, down. No, come on. Come on, you've been so good. Come on, Maggie. You sit here while we eat. Good girl. She's been very good because, obviously living in a flat, we don't have just the ability to open the back door to a garden, so she's actually starting to whine when she needs to go out. We're taking her out every hour near enough, but she just did a little whine and she's number two outside. <laughs> Good morning. So today is Monday 
and obviously it's the bank holiday Monday, so Zara's off work and we're having a very lovely, slow, it feels like a Sunday, it's the most Sunday Monday that we've had in quite some time, we've had a really slow morning, I think it's like half past 11. Yeah, we fed Maggie, gave her her breakfast, and we're off for just a really nice day in Borough Market in the Shards, like just south of the Thames. Um, I'm meeting Zara's auntie and uncle, and um, obviously they can meet Maggie, they live in London, so we're gonna meet up and have a lovely little pub lunch with them just so they can say hello. And then yeah, we're just gonna come back and have a really chill afternoon wind down of a very lovely weekend. I feel like the week just gone. Um, it's just been it's just been crazy. Obviously it was in Portsmouth with Ewan. We brought Maggie back from Durham, so it's just really busy. And if you could tell I've got Severe eye bags <laughs> and I'm pretty much running on coffee. I need another one of these when I come back. So yeah, it's been pretty crazy. All fun enjoys having a pub, but some reality, it's hard work. And I think I'd forgotten how much hard work it is, but we're loving the process. She's just a bundle of joy. She's currently having a nap ready for her big adventure. So um, yeah, let's go. So who gets the award for the world's worst vlogger? I do. <laughs> Last time I think I filmed, we were heading out for lunch. Obviously haven't seen um, Zara's and Uncle in quite some time and we just had a lovely catch up with them in their little garden and then we went for lunch and we were just talking and talking for hours and hours and now it's nearly half past five. Where has the day gone? I don't know. Anyway, we're going to do a um, tour in the hall for dinner which we haven't done in a long time. It's still August. It's two days till September when I'm filming this and it genuinely feels like autumn is here. And summer's just gone, which is, I, I, I don't know where the year's gone. Let me know if you feel the same. So we're going to do like a tour in the hall, which is like sausages in a Yorkshire pudding. I get asked quite often about what a Yorkshire pudding is. You aren't from the UK. It's a delicious, it's like a Dutch pancake. It's gorgeous. So we popped into a um, fruit and veg store. And I grabbed some spuds. So we're going to do some mashed potato with it. And grabbed some carrots to do some honey roasted carrots. These are actually from Zara's auntie and uncle. These are some peppers. So we're going to... Um, use these up throughout the week and then freeze whatever we don't use. Also, Maggie's dinner time too soon, so we're going to do that. She's trying to eat me. I see. Yeah, she's definitely grown into her own now. She's getting a little bit more cheeky. She tried my hair. Ah, ah, ah. You notice this orange hue? Um, I've just popped this light in here. I thought it'd be nice to have as the evenings are going to be getting darker soon. Just This was from George Asda from a recent project I worked on them with it. It's like a um, Thomas Edison style bulb lamp, so I've just popped it in the corner. So it adds a nice little glow while the sun's gone down. So I've just prepped some carrots for some honey and um, fennel glazed carrots. And these are the sausages. These are the um, meatless farm sausages. So we're gonna try those this evening. And we've just had HelloFresh arrive. We've been using HelloFresh for around a month now. And I know obviously I love cooking recipes from scratch and they are coming very soon again to videos because I know a lot of you've been asking about them but this has been a godsend while we've had Maggie and work's just been super crazy for me and Zara just knowing that we've got three meals a week just ready decided that we don't have to go and buy groceries for they are so delicious I'll leave a code down below that you guys can use and you can actually get up to, I think it's like 80% off your first box we um, used it and got three meals for like five pounds so it's fab so yeah I'm just going to unbox this now Yorkshire pudding batter mix, what I tend to do is around 110 grams of flour to three eggs to around 110 of milk, kind of like equal quantities. Sometimes I eyeball it and add a bit more milk if it's a bit thick, but the trick is to chill the batter before it hits the oil, and the oil has to be piping hot, so it's like a chemical reaction and just makes them puff up beautifully. But I've got the sausages in the oven cooking first, and I'm going to pop them in here, pour in the batter, and they should be nice and coated in the sausages. So this is dinner this evening. These are our lovely toads in the hall with some peas, some lovely buttery mash and some fennel and honey carrots. And we've got the gravy in common. Yeah. Yes, please love. Oh, delish. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. I feel so bad. Tonight is the first night that me and Zara aren't sleeping with Maggie. She's been with us a week and we've been popping her in the kitchen and just closing the door while we've been in the living room. Um, and she's been fine in her bed and we really just wanna get used to her having her own space, obviously sleeping with us. It's really comforting for her. And obviously we're only like the kitchen's just there. So if she does start crying, we can comfort her. Um, but I think she's gonna be fine. She, she's had a good snooze. We've just taken her out for a toilet. It's about half past nine, so. I feel like such a bad parent. Oh God, me too. <laughs> I don't 
I'm not good at that. No, neither do I'm I. I'm definitely going to have to go and get home. Oh, it's okay. We're going to get up at 5.30 to take her for a big long walk. Well, not a big long walk, you know, just some exercise. Um, so yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I hope it's been somewhat cohesive and made sense. I've just picked the camera up as and when. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Love to you all and thank you all for your love on our new addition to our family. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I'll catch you all very soon. Bye for now.